Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is a reading for the collective for this full moon in Scorpio which takes place April 26th or the 27th depending on where you are in the world. Every month I do full moon and new moon readings for the collective. It's basically my way of getting just a general look at what's happening around those times of the month. You don't have to, with this particular reading, you don't have to have Scorpio in your chart to be able to watch this. This is a reading for everybody. It's general. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Full moon time is a time where we release, we purge, we let go of things that aren't helping us move forward. We set the intention to put that all behind us so that way, come new moon, we are free and receptive to receive and prepare right for the new things that we set our intentions towards come the new moon so i'm going to be taking a look at this full moon energy in scorpio to see what the cards have to say for the collective so let's start with a fortune reading card to see what the main energy is for this full moon in scorpio energy that takes place april 26 27 2021 Let's see what the main energy is for this full moon in Scorpio. Ah, oh, unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Okay. So it's a full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is about death and rebirth. It's also energy of transformation and major changes. The thing is, is that in order for us to receive all of this that the card is indicating, right? Divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. Renewal is new energy. We have to really, really let go of the old and say goodbye to those things. Take on the Scorpionic energy to truly transmute, transform, say goodbye, right? Scorpio is like the death card in the tarot. It's all about endings in order to make room for new beginnings. So I kind of get the vibe that some of you this full moon will really be working on letting go of the old fully and completely in order to prepare for this divine understanding, maybe within oneself or someone else, renewal, peace, and hope. And so that way you can attract, right, the things that you desire, the things that you want to receive come new moon. So, yeah, I think this full moon is a time where you're letting go of anything that's not working in order to prepare for the things that you want to attract. And for some of you with this card, it could definitely be love or the thing that you're trying to manifest even. Maybe you are trying to manifest love or something with this energy because it's a heart, right? Something on your heart someone on your heart or something that you've been working toward attracting that is a match in alignment with you so let's see if we can get a couple tarot cards for this this is the tattoo tarot for this full moon in scorpio energy april 26 and 27 depending on where you are all right one and two and three Oh, okay, the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Look at that, the death energy, right on. Aha. And that is the Four of Pentacles. So, I already know what this is saying. This, okay, this Page of Swords is giving me vibes. The first, the first word I got was insight, okay? It's not normally a word that I get with the Page of Swords, but... I feel like this is insight, gaining insight, okay, where you're seeing something the way you've maybe always needed to see it. And it's give, giving you a fresh set of eyes or a fresh perspective where you're kind of approaching this shift over here or this death card energy, this metamorphosis, right, that you're embarking upon. You're approaching this with a fresh set of eyes. It's like you can see now is kind of what this is saying to me. Why do I say you can see now? Like you got, you're getting a fresh set of eyes because the Page of Swords is new energy. 
it's the first step in in a direction towards something uh, it's a student of life it's always learning growing exploring expanding its horizons and in order to level up on the journey or to mature right in its journey it has to take the first step to evolve so to me this is feeling like you're taking the first step on a new journey and you're doing this because you can see clearly now it, it kind of feels like this full moon is bringing you that perspective where you can see things clearly for yourself now and now now is the time to embark upon this journey You've done the work, I feel, over here with the death card, or you're in the process of doing it, in the process of truly shifting and changing things about your life, which are going to stabilize you moving forward. This is the Four of Pentacles energy, where it's a foundation energy, it's secure, it's safe. So I'm looking at this page of swords like you. You're seeing things clearly. With a fresh perspective, it's giving you the ability to now move forward, take the first step forward in the direction that you know you need to take to make the changes you need to make in order to attract the things that you, you want for yourself, in order to give you a fresh start, even a clean slate, a time of renewal, peace, and hope. You're moving in the direction of the things that are going to bring you all of that and then some. Some of you have already done the work. Some of you are embarking on doing the work in order to prepare this foundation for the future. So you can receive all this without any of that baggage from the past getting in the way of receiving it. You're about to emerge out of the cocoon and really put the past behind you with this full moon. Death card is Scorpio, so it's kind of cool to see it here show up for the full moon. I'm also looking at the Page of Swords like um, there's no fear in this because at the end of the day, you have a sword to protect you. So there's no fear of the changes that you're either making or the new that's coming in as a result of everything you've put behind you. There's no fear in that. You're ready. To, you know, it's like there's this with the sword across her body like that. It's giving me vibes of like a warrior spirit coming through. She's got her war paint on, if you look at her eye makeup, right? And then we have the little chickadee there, and his wings are spread open, and it's like, yeah, you're ready to spread your wings and fly because you have a fresh perspective on everything you've been through with this death card. Um, this feeling of a new me, right? So you could be feeling new, like death and rebirth, right, with the... With the death card so it's like you're you're reinventing or rebirthing a new version of yourself you're starting off as a page page of swords with a fresh set of eyes towards the new life that you are embarking upon after putting so much behind you with the death card and this journey that you're taking after all this has been put behind you um is one where you're different you're, you're not the same person as you were uh last week let alone six months a year ago you're you're different you're a different person. You're completely transformed. And you don't see things the way that you used to. You don't look at life the way that you used to even. I think this full moon is bringing all of that full circle is kind of the vibe this is giving me. And I also feel security from the four of pentacles. So it's it's like you're you're moving into this. Yes, it's a fresh new chapter. Sure, you've, you've done your work. You've been through it. You're... You've initiated even the changes that you've needed to make in order to transform the things that need to change in your life. Um, and you're doing all these things with a, se uh, a sense of, with the Four of Pentacles, security and, and safety in it all. Sometimes, you know, change is hard, change is difficult. Uh, sometimes we don't always feel safe in making the changes we know we need to make in order to change things in our lives that need changed. Um, but... This is saying you're going into this change fresh-faced, yes, um, but at the same time, feeling 
feeling like you have the ground underneath your feet, if you know what I mean. And you're entering with this energy here as a result of, you know, all this change or shift or really the closing out of an old cycle fully. You're entering this time of unity within yourself, right? Because you know who you are now. Um, after having transformed and changed, you've evolved into the fullest version of yourself with this death card. And now you're really ready to receive all the things that you are worthy of, right? And that is... You are worthy of divine understanding. You are worthy of renewal. You are worthy of peace. You are worthy of, you know, beautiful things to hope for. You are worthy of attracting great love and things into your life. And I think it's because of letting go of all this that you're now in a place where your foundation is strong to receive. With this card, you could definitely be coming into alignment with whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest. You could have, with the death card, also released a lot of blockages that would hold you back from attracting or receiving the things that you are truly, innately worthy of. I'm getting mental clarity from the Page of Swords also. And I also feel focus coming from it. So it's like you're focusing on the new things you want to attract as well. This full moon. Um, while also acknowledging that it's time. It's really, really time to let it go. Or you're free of it. You're free of whatever was not letting you change, evolve, or transform. But your foundation is secure is what the four of pentacles is telling me as you move forward as you you transition from the old into the new again where endings come new beginnings so this is a transitionary energy you're kind of like right on the brink of this new energy and as you do the last bit of work to let it go you know you realize how safe you are you realize how safe you are with this four of pentacles into this new energy that's coming your way. Dare I say confidence. Dare I say newfound confidence. Um, there's this feeling of like, nothing can scare me now, basically. Right, we have the, the sword here, which is, you know, that feeling of protection where it's like right across her chest. So it's like guarded and protected, I'm safe. I know how to defend myself. Yeah. Nothing can scare you moving into this new energy. And that's the foundation of, you know, that's the solid ground that I was talking about. Um, What could possibly scare you <laughs> moving into this new energy? There's nothing to be afraid of because you've already experienced, right? With the death card, I can only imagine you've probably already experienced the worst of the worst, let's say. So what could possibly scare you moving forward into this new energy? Nothing. And that's why this energy is feeling like safe and secure with the four of pentacles safe and secure in yourself and who you are and what you've become again metamorphosis energy how you've evolved there's not any no like there's all this beautiful stuff trying to come your way the universe is like confirming that and even though change can be a little bit eh, like iffy right because we don't know what's on the other side of the shifts that are happening for us but at the same time there's no fear involved in that because you have fresh perspective you have a newfound confidence you're solid over here with the four pentacles as well and you've already been through stuff so what could possibly scare you moving forward probably nothing hmm yeah let's let's take a look at some more cards here 
So I also want to say with the death card, real quick before I get to these, um, this chapter, right, with this card here, it feels like a renaissance, right? This this energy that you've recently gone through, this end of a cycle that is finally closing out. Um, it was. It feels like a personal renaissance for some of you. But that personal renaissance or those major changes and shifts um, and all the things that you've gone through to make you this beautiful bur butterfly spreading wings now, right? Uh, was was the necessary part of your evolution to create this warrior spirit to solidify your personal and spiritual foundation so that way it prepares and and uh, it prepares the slate to then receive all the things that have always been yours have always been meant for you with all of this behind you there's nothing more getting in the way of receiving everything you're meant for. That could be love, your perfect job, your, you know, your best life, your career, like all the things that you've wanted to manifest and come into union with, right? All the things you've ever wanted to attract. There's nothing getting in the way of you receiving it now. It's yours. You're solid in who you are. No one can challenge that, right? I think you're learning also, uh, maybe this last chapter or cycle that's closing out, you've learned to fight through your fears. But in the fighting of those fears, you've also learned how to spread your wings and fly and maybe take a risk every once in a while as well. Um, the feeling, and I'm sure you've heard me say this, it's like the, the more we try to conquer the little fears right the easier conquering fears you know the easier it becomes to conquer our fears basically we got to start off small we start off small we conquer little fears and then we're able to challenge ourselves to conquer bigger ones and that kind of feels like a place where some of you are at right now where you are learning to conquer your fears and step into the new um feeling more confident in yourself and where you're going taking the first step towards these new things, even though at times, you know, it, it feels uncomfortable because you don't understand or know, or I don't want to say understand, but it's like you don't really fully know the scope of where you're going. But nonetheless, you're still willing with the page of source to take that step forward anyway, because you're, you're clear of mind, you're gaining clarity and perspective on who you are and what you wish for yourself. And that is more appealing than anything you can fear moving forward. So let's go ahead and grab a couple cards here. I feel like this full moon in Scorpio is really closing out um, a major learning cycle for a lot of you. And it's opening you up now to a new way of looking at life. And in the process of also, again, opening your eyes to a new way of thinking, believing, living, um, giving you so much fresh perspective, it's also secured you and made that foundation within yourself strong. So that way nothing scares you moving forward. Because what could possibly happen that you haven't already been through, you know, is kind of the feeling this is giving me. And you're entering a time where you're you're really leaving the past behind so that way you can attract all the things that you have been um, maybe struggling even for some of you to attain. Uh, that's not going to be the case anymore. It, it feels like free-flowing energy coming your way now. And putting you on the path to unite with the things that are meant for you. So bear with me one second because I kind of want to get in on the cards a little bit more. All right. Ah, air energy. There you go. So again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy, confirming the energy of the page of swords, but it's also the energy of anything you put your mind to, right? It's mental energy. 
Um, wherever you put your focus, energy will flow, right? So again, if you're letting all of this go, so that way you can really focus on the things you want to attract. You know, it's all about your mindset. Where is your mind at? And I was feeling the energy of clarity, so that does make sense. We do have the guide energy, which is a compass. So it's always, you know, this energy of like being guided right and true. Again, being guided by your spirit team, your squad. So again, as you move forward into these shifts and these changes and you fully close maybe the end of old cycles out, uh, please know that you're guided through this new energy and this fresh fresh energy that's trying to open up to you in order to put you in alignment with the things that you need, want, desire, and have been trying to manifest. All right, so let's see. Aha, look. There you go. All the seeds that you've been planting. Look at the little acorn here, right? Uh, Wolf, what is it? Wolf, Ralph, Wolf. Oh, why did I say Wolf? <laughs> Ralph Waldo. That's why. Um, Ralph Waldo Emerson talks about uh, how a single acorn becomes a forest, right? So it's like the seeds that you plant today become, you know, I guess the forest tomorrow. Basically, they can they have the potential to become so much more tomorrow. This card talks about, you know, the bonds, all the things that come together to nourish the seeds that we plant, right? Again, this feeling of reuniting you or uniting you with the things that you want to attract, right? In order to nurture the seeds, in order for it to grow, in order to bear fruit, in order to give new life. So again, you have to nurture this seed in order to multiply it in order to grow in order for it to become something right and it feels like a lot of you have been doing that and now it's time for this seed to root and sprout and bear fruit finally so you're being put on the path you're being guided like a compass you know helps you find your way right all your focus is guiding you to this seed or to the manifestation that you want to attract you had to let go of the old to make room for this new garden to grow or, or this seed to take root and truly become. I kind of feel like th that's getting rid of the blockages, right? That would hinder or hurt or get in the way of this seed being planted, taking root and delivering your manifestation to you. I feel like a lot of you have already been doing the work. Like I said earlier, you've been nurturing the seeds uh, within your own life in your own garden and now it's time to receive it's time for these things to truly bear fruit right nothing more getting in the way of receiving now that's why it says you radiate and attract great love it could be anything on your heart but you're being guided in the direction of of your manifestation I always look at the acorn as that right things take nurturing they take time to grow uh, we plant the seeds in order for one day for them to materialize in the future and become something. Just like a seed gets planted and under the right conditions, everything comes together to help it sprout, right? And that does take time. I think you guys are coming into alignment with the things and the seeds you've already planted some time ago. Now that the blockages are out the way and you have fresh perspective and a newfound sense of foundation within yourself is really like i said nothing getting in the way of receiving and at the same time this guide card is indicating the fact that you have been put on this path and you're being guided through these new shifts and changes you're about to experience so even though they might scare you slightly um and be unfamiliar you're still you still have your squad surrounding you everywhere you're being guided to this manifestation and for it to be received under the right conditions. And I say the right conditions because, you know, we need sun, we need soil, we need water um, in order. And we need, you know, maybe sometimes if a garden requires it, fertilizer, right? All these things have to come together in order to nurture, nurture the seed in the garden for it to grow and bear fruit. So what this is saying is you have had your mind on this for a while. You're being guided in the direction of this manifestation and the conditions are now sh starting to show signs of life right after having put a lot of your mental energy into it and staying true to the path that you've chosen now there's there's signs of life so let's get a um 
Let's get some making magic. Magic. I'm just like, yeah, making magic. Getting tongue tied today. Oh, there goes one. There we go. There goes two. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Tree of life. You wait, it says true wisdom and making good choices in life. Ah, look at that. Self-confidence, strong self-belief, and a sense of worth. Absolutely. I had mentioned the self-confidence aspect of it, and then these two fly out. I mentioned the trees in the forest, and then the tree of life card falls out. So yeah. Again, a newfound sense of confidence in this new path, even though at times, you know, you don't always know or have clear understanding of where this new chapter is taking you, but there is a newfound confidence. And I was feeling that from the the energy of the Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So that definitely does apply. Let's see if we can get some angel numbers to help with this reading. If you're not familiar with my channel, I do roll the dice sometimes for angel numbers via the dice. Um, so what I recommend is that you guys do your own research for the numbers. Google the angel number, whatever number comes up in this reading. There are many sources online. I don't like to recommend a source because at the end of the day, it could be one you do not resonate or connect with and that at that point could lose some of the magic in uh, the synchronicities that can unfold for you by looking the numbers up. I always encourage you to take your own journey to find the numbers because spirit might show you some other things along the way. And if I gave you a shortcut to the angel number, I might rob you of those nuggets that spirit wants you to find for yourself. And that's why I also encourage you guys not to put the angel number interpretation in the comment section because you don't want to rob anybody of finding their own magic, okay? It is a personal journey always. So these numbers may indeed confirm some things already said in this reading or provide you with a particular message that you need to hear for your journey alone, okay? So that's why I always encourage you to look it up. So anyhow, let's see what numbers we get for you for this full moon in Scorpio message. All right, so we have three, eight, eight. So 388 is your angel number. Go ahead and look that up. See what that number brings to you. Um, if you feel that this has helped or connected for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to support this channel. Maybe click the bell as well so that way you get notified of other content. I do upload pretty often. That way you don't miss out on any videos. And if you want to take it a step further to support what I do, maybe consider checking me out on Etsy. The link to my shop is in the description box down below. I do have personal readings there as well as handmade crystal jewelry that I make with my two hands on my free time. So go ahead and uh, pay me a visit whenever. Take care of yourselves. Happy full moon, guys and gals. Take care and keep shining.